For this video, I'm going to show you how to make this Boston Terrier. And I made him so his legs can um, move. And he can sit. And here I went ahead and got him a name tag. So it says licorice. It's named after someone wanted me to make a Boston Terrier after their licorice. So I named licorice. And here you can see the back legs. And what's nice about this video is you're going to learn how to change colors. So licorice actually has more black on the front from the picture, but um, I wanted to show how to change the colors. So you can move the color patterns where you would like to place them depending on what kind of dog you want to make. So I'm just going to turn licorice around so you can see and see what licorice the face looks like and the ears. Okay, so for licorice, I had used this Red Heart Super Saver Jumbo, the black color. But because the black color doesn't show well on video, I'm going to do the same, um, make the Boston Terrier with the Red Heart Super Saver with Royal. So you can pick whatever color that you like. But um, you would just replace, if you don't want the royal and you want black, you would just replace the royal color with the black color for your Boston Terrier. And then also you're going to need a white color. And I used the Craft Smart Value yarn. And um, you, this one is just a white. But you could use Red Heart Super Saver white too. I just used this because it was an inexpensive white yarn. But it also has a thicker, like Red Heart, um, rougher texture. So you're going to want that for your project. And this is a medium four yarn. Let's see if I can make that. Sometimes it doesn't want to come out very well. There we go. And then also I'm using my Karen Simply Soft color for the ears and this one is off white so some people say they have trouble with Karen simply soft with it splitting so if you want to use a different color that's fine but I love this stuff so I'm going to use that and you're also going to need your G hook crochet hook four millimeter crochet hook and your tapestry needle and a pair of scissors for the eyes, I'm going to show you the different type of eyes. So for licorice, I used a um, 15 millimeter, and this is Derek. I believe that's Derrico or Darice. I'm not sure, but um, the 15 millimeter. This is what it looks like on licorice, which I like, but they were out of the 15 millimeters, so I'm going to try a larger size. So I'm going to be using the 18 millimeter, and that's this size. So I'm just going to show you, compared to licorice, the two eyes. So it is bigger, a bigger eye, so I'm going to try and see, but I do love the 15 millimeter. For, um, so if you can find one or get one online, that would be probably a better eye. But I'm going to show you what it looks like with the bigger. So this one is, again, the 18 millimeter eye. And then this is the smaller eye. It's only a 12 millimeter. But I'm not going to use the smaller one. The smaller one, you can see, is substantially smaller. So I'm not going to use that one. But I just wanted to show you the difference in the sizes. And then for the nose, I'm going to be using the animal noses. And this one is a 21 millimeter. Okay, so the first thing we're going to make is the snout. So you're just going to get your white colored yarn. And we're going to do a magic circle. So you're going to drape the yarn across your four fingers and then stabilize it with your thumb. And then just wrap it around your two middle fingers twice. And then hold it in place with your pinky and your thumb. And then take your crochet hook, and again we're using the G hook or four millimeter crochet hook. You're going to go under those two loops around the middle finger. You're going to grab your yarn and bring up a loop. 
and then yarn over, turn your hook upside down, and then go through that loop for a slip knot. And then you're going to do six single crochet into the magic circle. So you're going to go under, and you're going to bring up a loop, and then you have two loops on your hook, you're going to yarn over, turn your hook upside down, and go through both those loops for one single crochet. Two single crochet, three, four, five, and six. Now you're going to take your forefinger and your thumb, and you're just going to hold the base of the six single crochet. And then you have the two loops on the other side of your magic circle. You're going to pull on one of those strings. And if it doesn't pull, you let go and pull on the other one. But this one's pulling, so I'm just going to close and gently close it. You don't have to close it all the way because we can pull it tighter later. But close it most of the way. And then take that extra yarn end and pull on that. And now you're going to work two single crochet into every stitch around for a total of 12. So in that first stitch, you're going to do two single crochet in that same stitch. So you're going to bring up a loop. You have two loops on your hook, yarn over, and then go through both for one single crochet. Go in that same stitch, bring up a loop, two loops on your hook, yarn over, and then you have two single crochet. And then you're going to do two single crochet and every stitch around for a total of 12 and then come back and I'll show you what to do next. Okay, so this is what your work should look like. So now we're just going to close that center. So go ahead and turn it over and then pull on that loose yarn end and then that closes your magic circle. So now you're going to need a yarn marker and I'm just going to use the extra yarn that's on the end of my magic circle. And you're just going to place that yarn marker where you left off. And now we're going to do an increase round. So in the next stitch, you're going to do one single crochet. And then in the second stitch, you're going to do two single crochet in the same stitch. One. Two. So you're going to repeat that pattern all the way around back to the yarn marker and then come back and I'll show you the next step. Okay, so now we're going to do another increase round. So you're going to go ahead and take your yarn marker and move it up to where you left off. And now you're going to do one single crochet into the next two stitches. So in the next stitch you're going to do one single crochet. Second stitch, one single crochet. And then in the third stitch, you're going to do two single crochet in the same stitch. One and two. So go ahead and repeat that pattern all the way around back to the yarn marker and then come back and I'll show you the next step. Okay, so your work should look like this. And now I'm going to show you on your stitch here, you can see that there's a back loop and then there's a front loop here. So we're going to be going in between the stitch and we're going to be grabbing that front loop only. So I'll do that again. So you see the stitch, we're going to go right down the center and then we're going to grab the front loop only. So here's the back loop and here's the front loop and we're going to be working in all of the front loops only. So you're going to go ahead and this is the right side and this is the wrong side, the side that has the magic circle loose yarn end. So we're going to be working with the right side facing us. Go ahead and take the yarn marker and move it up. And then we're going to do a single crochet into the front loop only. So you're going to go ahead and go into that front loop. And you're going to bring up a loop. You have two loops on your hook. Go ahead and yarn over and go through both for a single crochet. And then you're just going to go all the way around. 
and then just work into the front loop only. So here you can see I'm going down into the middle of the stitch and going into the front loop only. And then I'm bringing up a loop and then I'm going through both for a single crochet. And you're going to do that all the way around back to the yarn marker. I'll do one more with you down into the center into the front loop only. And then I'm bringing up a loop and then I'm yarning over and then going through both for a single crochet. So go ahead and do that all the way around back to the yarn marker and then come back and I'll show you what to do next. Okay, so this is how your work should look. And now go ahead and take your yarn marker and move it up to where you left off. And now you're going to do a single crochet into both loops. So you're going to go into the next stitch and you're going to go into both loops. And then you're going to bring up a loop and then yarn over and go through both for a single crochet. And you're going to do that all the way around. I'm going to do another one with you. So you're going to go through both loops of the next stitch, bring up a loop, yarn over and go through both for a single crochet. So go ahead and do that all the way around back to the yarn marker and then come back and I'll show you what to do next. Okay, so now we're going to do a slip stitch. So in the next stitch over, you're going to um, go ahead and yarn over and bring the yarn through both loops on the hook for a slip stitch. And now you're going to finish off, you're going to yarn over and then just bring enough yarn through to sew onto the head. Okay, so now you're going to place your animal nose, and this is where we finished off. I went ahead and put that to the side, and then you can see how the side has a little rim on it. So go ahead and fold it so you have a little rim, just like this. And then I put the animal nose along the curve of that upper rim, and then here you could see where the center of the magic circle is, and then you just have the, this is the magic circle. So this is the one and then two. So you have a little stitch in between the nose. So go ahead and place your nose. And then once you have it in the position that you like, go ahead and put your safety latch on the back and then come back with your tapestry needle and some black yarn. And I'm going to show you how to sew on the mouth. Okay, so you should have your tapestry needle with some black yarn. And you're going to start on the inside, or the wrong side, and you're going to come up beneath the nose with your tapestry needle. Let's see if I can come up under the nose a little better. There. There. I like it. Just line it up exactly where you want it, and then come through with your yarn and leave enough on the back for tying a knot. And then you're going to go down into the center of the magic circle. And then you're going to go down to the corner here. And you can follow the circle. And then I went down two, one, two. And now I'm going to go back up through the magic circle. And then I'm going to go over to one stitch over. Oops. If you make a mistake, you can just pull it out. So you're going to come in from the inside. So from the inside, make sure that you don't do what I just did. <laughs> and then go back through that opening. Because we're making the smile. 
and then just going to follow that circle up and I'm going to make it about the same distance from the magic circle opening so I'm just going to go and make sure you don't go from the wrong side just come up on the side that your yarn went through so I have one side done so now I'm just going to go back through the magic circle opening again to make the other side because you want it to be even so I'm just going to line it up so it comes out even and you're just going to do the exact same thing on the other side and then come back and we'll see the end finished product okay and then once you have the smile on the face how you like it go ahead and turn it over and just tie a knot onto the back and then when you come back we're going to go go ahead and make the head okay so for the head you're going to go ahead and grab your main color for your Boston Terrier and in this case I'm using the royal blue and we're going to start with the magic circle so just drape the color of the, or the yarn across your four fingers use your thumb to stabilize and then just wrap it around your two middle fingers twice and then hold it in place with your pinky and your thumb then take your crochet hook and I'm still using the G or four millimeter crochet hook go under those two loops go ahead and bring up a loop and then yarn over and go through that loop for a slip knot and now we're going to do six single crochet into the magic circle so you're going to go bring up a loop two loops on your hook yarn over and go through both loops for one single crochet two three four five and six so then take your forefinger and your thumb and just grab the base of the six single crochet and again you're going to have those two yarn strands on the opposite end of the magic circle you're going to pull if one doesn't pull then you let go and pull on the other one but this one's pulling closed and then don't pull it too tight just enough to close the circle mostly and then grab that loose yarn end and pull on that and now you're going to do two single crochet into every stitch around for a total of 12 so in that next stitch you're going to grab both loops of that stitch you're going to bring up a loop you have two loops on your hook you're going to yarn over and go through both for one same stitch two so go ahead and do two single crochet in every stitch all the way around for a total of 12 and then come back and I'll show you what to do next okay so your work should look like this we're going to go ahead and close that opening on the magic circle so go ahead and turn it over and then just pull on the yarn loose yarn in on the back and then that closes up the magic circle and then now we're going to need a yarn marker so go ahead and grab I'm going to grab one of my loose strands of yarn to mark where I left off and now we're going to do an increase round so in the next stitch I'm going to go into this stitch both loops and we're going to do one single crochet so go ahead and bring up a loop two loops on the hook yarn over and go through both for one and then in the second stitch you're going to do two single crochet into the same stitch one and two so go ahead and repeat that pattern all the way around back to the yarn marker and then come back and I'll show you the next step okay so this is how your work should look so go ahead and take your yarn marker and move it to where you left off and now we're going to be adding the white color so and this is also going to be an increase round so I'm going to show you how to do that into the next stitch both loops you're going to go ahead and bring up a loop 
and then you have two loops on your hook so you're going to go ahead and get your white yarn and then you're just going to hook the white yarn and bring it through both loops and then you're going to leave enough of the white yarn on the back for tying a knot and then we're going to do one single crochet so you're going to go ahead and yarn over and then bring that yarn through the loop for just one and then you're going to turn over and then tie the white yarn and the blue yarn into a knot and I'm just going to tie that three times make sure it's secure and now you're going to be working with both colors the whole time that you're crocheting so I'm going to show you how to do that so in the next stitch we're going to do another single crochet but we're going to do a single crochet with the white colored yarn and at the same time we're going to be burying the blue colored yarn so in the next stitch you're going to go in both loops of the next stitch and you're going to go behind the blue yarn and you're going to go ahead and bring up a loop with the white yarn so then you have two loops on your hook and you're burying the blue yarn and working with the white yarn so then you're going to go ahead yarn over and bring the white yarn through both loops on the hook for a single crochet and now we're going to do the pattern is going to be one single crochet in two stitches and then two stitches in the third. So in that third stitch, you're going to go ahead and bring up a loop with the white yarn. The same time you're burying the white the blue yarn and carrying it with you as you crochet. So go ahead and yarn over and bring it through both loops for a single crochet and then we're going to do another single crochet in the same stitch. and now we're going to go ahead and switch back to the blue so to switch colors or change colors move the white yarn in front and then pick up the blue yarn and then you're going to go into the next stitch with your crochet hook you're going to go behind the white yarn you're going to bring up a loop with the blue yarn so now you have a blue loop and a white loop on your crochet hook you're going to yarn over and bring the blue yarn through both loops on the hook for a single crochet so that's one and then in the second stitch you're going to do another one single crochet now you have two blue loops on the hook and you're burying the white yarn in between yarn over and go through both loops now on the third stitch you're going to do two single crochet so you go into the next stitch behind the white yarn you're carrying it with you you can do one single crochet and then in the same stitch you're going to do another single crochet so you're going to repeat that pattern all the way around and we're going to keep using the blue yarn now and carry the white yarn around with us back to the yarn marker so I'm going to go ahead and do a couple, one more set with you next stitch one single crochet second stitch one single crochet third stitch two single crochet in the same stitch and you can see how I'm carrying the white yarn with me as I'm crocheting so go ahead and finish that pattern all the way around back to the yarn marker and then come back and I'll show you what to do next okay so I'm back at my yarn marker and this is how my work looks and you can see that I still have both yarn ends working as I'm going so now you're going to go ahead and move your yarn marker up to the next row and this is going to be another increase round and I'm going to go ahead and go back to using the white because I want to keep the white stitches together 
And that's what's nice about this is you can move your pattern or change colors wherever you like in the work. So now, since I'm changing to the white color, I'm going to move the blue yarn to the front. And then I'm going to grab the white yarn to work with. And in the next stitch, I'm going to do one single crochet. So I'm going to go ahead and grab the white yarn and then bury the blue yarn as I work. So now I have one blue loop on my crochet hook and one white loop. Go ahead and yarn over and go through both for a single crochet. In the second stitch, I'm going to do another single crochet and I'm still using the white colored yarn because I want to keep the white colors together. So I'm going to go ahead and go behind the blue yarn, yarn bring up a loop with the white yarn, two loops on the hook, yarn over and go through both for a single crochet. And then in the third stitch, I'm going to do another single crochet. And then in the fourth stitch, I'm going to do two single crochets in the same stitch. So in the next stitch, I'm going to do two single crochet. One, two. So I'm going to repeat that pattern all the way around back to the yarn marker, but I'm going to work another stitch with you to show you how I change colors. So in the first stitch, I'm going to do one single crochet. Second stitch, one single crochet. And then I want to change back to blue for the next stitch, so I'm going to move the white yarn to the front. And then I'm going to grab the blue yarn to work with. And then I'm going to do one single crochet in that third stitch. And then in the fourth stitch, I'm going to do two single crochet. One, two. And you can see that I still have both yarn colors as I'm working around. So now you're going to repeat that pattern all the way around back to the yarn marker and then come back and I'll show you what to do next. Okay, so this is how your work should look now. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, change my color pattern a little bit to keep it a little straighter and in order to do that I'm going to, in that first blue stitch, I'm going to do a white stitch in there. And then I'm going to do white stitches all the way until my last white stitch and then I'm going to do a blue stitch. So I'm going to show you how I'm going to do that. And then also I'm going to be doing an increase round. This will be our last increase round. So go ahead and move your yarn marker up to where you left off. And then I'm going to move the blue yarn to the front. And I'm going to grab my white yarn to work with. So then I'm going to go into the next stitch behind the blue yarn. And then I'm going to bring up a loop with the white yarn. And then I have two loops on the hook. I'm going to yarn over and go through both for one single crochet. And then I'm just going to work with my white yarn and bury the blue yarn as I'm working. So in the second stitch, I'm going to do one single crochet. And then in the third stitch, one single crochet. And the fourth stitch, one single crochet. And then in the fifth stitch, I'm going to do two single crochets in the same stitch. One, and then two. And so that's the pattern. You're going to repeat all the way around back to the yarn marker. But I'm going to show you how to change colors again. So in the next stitch, I'm going to do one single crochet. Second stitch, one single crochet. And in that third stitch, that last white stitch, I'm going to change to blue. So I'm going to move the white yarn to the front. And then I'm going to work with my blue yarn. And then I'm going to do one single crochet in that stitch.
And then in the fourth stitch, I'm going to do one single crochet. And then in the fifth stitch, I'm going to do two single crochet in the same stitch. One, two. So go ahead, repeat that pattern all the way around back to the yarn marker and then come back and I'll show you what to do next. Okay, so this is how your work is looking and you can see how you're getting a nice change of color pattern. And so now you're going to do five rows doing this same one single crochet in every stitch all the way around and you're going to be doing the color where every time you get to the white portion you're going to change to white in the blue stitch right before your pattern. And you're going to do that for each of the five rows and that way it'll keep your um, white pattern straight. And you could see on licorice how the pattern, if you don't do that, it'll just cause a curve. If you like that, you can keep that. But if you want a straighter pattern, that's what you would do is the pattern that I'm telling you now. So either way, it still comes out cute. And you could play with how you want to place your change of color. But if you would like to have a, a straighter pattern then that's what you would do. So every time you come up to your change of color in the stitch prior you're going to change to the white and put a white stitch in there and then continue white all the way across until you get to the last stitch and then in that last white stitch you're going to start with your alternate color. So I'm going to put blue in there. So I'm going to show you this one row change of color and then I'll let you finish the five rows. So go ahead and move your yarn marker up to the next row and because my next row I have the blue stitch I'm going to go ahead and move the blue yarn to the front and work with my white and then I'm going to go into that next stitch behind the blue yarn bring up a loop with the white yarn then yarn, o yarn over and go through both loops for my first white stitch and then in the next stitch I'm going to use the white yarn again and then I'm going to go ahead and go all the way one single crochet every stitch until I get to that last white stitch and then I'm going to change colors so you can see how I have my last white stitch so now I'm going to move the white yarn to the front and then I'm going to grab the blue yarn to work with I'm going to go into that next stitch behind the white yarn bring up a loop with the blue yarn yarn over and go through both and then that's how you're going to do your color change along the white. And then you're going to do that for five rows of one single crochet in every stitch. Then come back and I'll show you what to do next. Okay, so you should have finished five rows. One, two, three, four, five. And now we're going to go ahead and get rid of the white color. So you're going to go ahead and cut the white colored yarn. And then you're going to just take it and tie a knot to the blue colored yarn. Okay, and then now you're just going to take your yarn marker and move it up. And now you're going to do one single crochet in every stitch around for six rows. So in the next stitch, you're just going to do one single crochet with the main color. Go ahead and yarn over and go through both. Just do a couple with you. Next stitch, bring up a loop, two loops on the hook, go through both. 
You can do a single crochet in every stitch around for six rows and then come back and I'll show you what to do next. Okay, so this is how your work should look and you should have finished six rows. One, two, three, four, five, six. So now you're just going to leave a loop open and set this aside because we're going to work on putting the face together. So the first thing we're going to do um, is finish the eyes. So we're going to take the white yarn and we're going to do a magic circle. Just drape the yarn across your four fingers, stabilize with your thumb, and then just wrap it around your two middle fingers twice and hold it in place with your pinky and your thumb. And I'm still using my G hook or a four millimeter crochet hook. Go under those two loops on the middle fingers and bring up a loop. And then you're going to yarn over and then bring the yarn through that loop for your slip knot. And now you're going to do six single crochet into the magic circle. So you're going to go under, bring up a loop, two loops on your hook, yarn over and go through both for one, two, three, four, five, six. And then go ahead and take your forefinger and thumb and grab the base of the six single crochet. And you have your two loops on the side. Go ahead and pull until it closes. And like I said, if it doesn't pull, you let go and pull on the other one. But this one's closing. And then pull on the um, loose yarn end to close. If you still have a little opening, that's fine. So now we're going to do a slip stitch into that first stitch. So go into the first stitch, both loops, and then go ahead and yarn over and bring the yarn through both loops on the hook for a slip stitch. And then go ahead and finish off. Go ahead and yarn over and then pull enough yarn to sew onto the project. And you're going to need two of these. So go ahead and make another one. And then don't worry about the opening because that's where you're going to put the eyeball. So go ahead and make another one and then come back and I'll show you what to do next. Okay, and then you can go ahead and put your eyeball into the magic circle. And then once you have it through, it's going to be tight getting that through. But once you do, then go ahead and take your safety lock. And you can put it onto the back like this. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and place the eyes and you're going to use your tapestry needle to sew the eyeballs in place. But I just want to show you my placement of the eyes and in relation to the um, magic circle on the top. So here from the magic circle, I'm going to count down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And then I placed it along the color changes that I did. But you can place your eyes how you like and then you can also help put the, the um, muzzle on to help you with the placement of the eyes as well. But that's where I placed mine and then when you sew your eyes on make sure that you go along the white rim into the back And then just go along the white rim as you sew. And then just sew it in place and tie a knot in the back on the inside. And then come back and I'll show you how to put the muzzle on. Okay, for the muzzle, we're not going to stuff the muzzle. So we're just going to take and put, place the muzzle below the eyes. And you can see how the muzzle has a shape here and it's kind of flat against the face. That's how the Boston Terriers are. And if you find that the muzzle doesn't fit all the way on here, then you're going to go ahead and crochet some more single crochets until the muzzle, you reach the end of the muzzle. And it looks like mine needs a couple more rows of the single crochet. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and then come back and then I'll show you how to sew on the muzzle. Okay, so you can see 
how my muzzle looks and that it reaches the bottom. So now you're just going to go ahead, make sure that you're lined up with your muzzle between the eyes, and then you're just going to go in through the muzzle down into the head, and then you're just going to sew it all the way around. and just sew the muzzle in place. So go ahead, sew your muzzle on, and then come back and I'll show you what to do next. Okay, so your snout should be sewed on, and you can see how it's flat on the face. So now go ahead and stuff with some pillow stuffing, some cheap pillow stuffing. And we're gonna go ahead and close the head now. So you can go ahead and get your yarn marker and just place it where you left off. And now the pattern that you're going to do is a decrease round. So in the next stitch you're going to do one single crochet. So you go into the next stitch, both loops, pull up a loop, two loops on your hook, yarn over and go through both loops for one single crochet and now you're going to do a decrease. So you go into the next stitch, bring up a loop, two loops on the hook, now you go into the next stitch, pull up a loop, three loops on the hook, yarn over, and go through all three loops on your hook for a decrease. And you're going to repeat that pattern all the way around back to the yarn marker and then come back and I'll show you what to do next. Okay, so now I'm back at the yarn marker, so go ahead and move the yarn marker up to where you left off and now you're going to do decreases all the way around. So you're going to go into the next stitch, you're going to pull up a loop and then go into the next stitch and pull up a loop. You have three loops on your hook. Go ahead and yarn over and pull through all three for a decrease and you're just going to keep doing decreases all the way around back to the yarn marker and then come back. Okay so this is how your work should look and I have one stitch left so I'm just going to do a single crochet in that last stitch. And now we're going to do a slip stitch and finish off. So go ahead and go into the next stitch, then yarn over and pull the yarn through both loops on your hook for a slip stitch. And then you're going to finish off, you're going to yarn over and just pull enough yarn in through to sew onto your project. And the head is almost done, so now we're just going to do the ears. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to make the ear like this, and the ear is going to be folded like a C onto the um, Boston Terrier. And here's just a picture of what it's going to look like. So you're going to need to make two of these. Okay, so we're going to start with the magic circle in your main color that you're using for your Boston Terrier. So go ahead and drape the yarn across your four fingers and stabilize it with your thumb and then just wrap it around your two middle fingers twice and hold it in place with your pinky and your thumb. And I'm still using the G hook or four millimeter crochet hook and go ahead and go under the two loops around your middle finger, bring up a loop, then yarn over Turn the hook upside down and go through that loop for your slip knot. And now you're going to do only three single crochet into the magic circle. So you're going to bring up a loop. You have two loops on your hook. You're going to yarn over and bring that yarn through those two loops for a single crochet. And we're going to do three of them. And then you're going to take your forefinger and your thumb and then hold the base of the three single crochet and then you have the two loops on the opposite side. You're going to pull on one of them and if it doesn't close then you let go and pull on the other but this one's closing. Don't pull it too tight. 
because you can always close it more later if you need. And then take your loose yarn strand and pull on that. And this is a little tight, but you're going to get two single crochet into every stitch. So you're going to go into your first stitch, both loops. Oop. So you go into your first stitch, and then you're going to bring up a loop, two loops on your hook, yarn over and go through both for a single crochet, and then you're going to do one more single crochet in the same stitch, so that's two, and we're going to do two in every stitch for a total of six, so the next stitch One, two for a total of four, and the next stitch, one, two. So I have six total, and this is how your work should be looking. So now we're going to do one single crochet into every stitch around for a total of six. So in the next stitch, I'm going to do one single crochet, next stitch one for a total of two, next stitch one single crochet for a total of three, four, five, and six. So now you're just going to take your work and you're going to turn the ear inside out so you have your little point to the ear on the right side. And now you're going to use a yarn marker. So then you just go ahead and get your yarn marker and I'm going to just use my scrap of yarn and just put it where I left off. And now we're going to do an increase round. So you're going to do one single crochet into the next stitch. And then you're going to do two single crochet into the second stitch. One. Two. So go ahead and repeat that pattern all the way around back to the yarn marker and then come back and I'll tell you, show you what to okay, do next. Okay, so go ahead and move your yarn marker up to where you left off and now you're just going to do one single crochet in every stitch all the way around. So in the next stitch you're going to bring up a loop, two loops on the hook, yarn over and go through both for one single crochet and just do one single crochet in every stitch all the way around back to the yarn marker. Okay, so go ahead and move your yarn marker up and now we're going to do another increase round. So you're going to do one single crochet into the next stitch. And then in the second stitch, you're going to do two single crochet into the same stitch. One and two. So go ahead and repeat that pattern all the way around back to the yarn marker and then come back. Okay, so I'm almost back to the yarn marker. I have one stitch left. You can go ahead and just do a single crochet in that stitch. And now you're going to go ahead and move the yarn marker up. And we're going to do one single crochet in every stitch all the way around. So in the next stitch, you're going to do one single crochet. And you're going to re do, repeat that pattern all the way around back to the yarn marker. Okay, so this is going to be our last increase round. Go ahead and move your yarn marker up. And again, you're going to do one single crochet into the next stitch. And then in the second stitch, you're going to do two single crochet into the same stitch. One and two. And go ahead and repeat that pattern all the way around and then come back. 
Okay, so I have one stitch left that I'm going to do a single crochet into. And go ahead and move your yarn marker up to where you left off. And now you're going to do two rows of just one single crochet in every stitch. So in the next stitch, you're just going to bring up a loop, two loops on your hook, yarn over and go through both for a single crochet. And go ahead and do one single crochet in every stitch all the way around for two rows and then come back. Okay, so you should have finished two rows of single crochet. One, two. And now we're going to go ahead and do a slip stitch. So in the next stitch over, you're just going to take the yarn and pull it through both loops on your hook for a slip stitch. And now we're going to finish off, yarn over and go through the loop on the hook and bring enough yarn to sew the project, the ear, onto your project. And you can go ahead and take out your yarn marker. And now we're just going to do the inner portion of the ear. Okay, so go ahead and get whatever color yarn that you want for the inner ear. And I'm using the Karen Simply Soft, and this is off-white. So the first thing we're going to do is a slip knot. And how I do that is I just fold the yarn over on itself to make a loop. And then I put my crochet hook through and then hold it with my middle finger and thumb and then you're just going to yarn over and then take the yarn through the loop for your slip knot and then you're going to go ahead and chain seven one two three four five six seven and now we're going to go ahead and we're going to do single crochets back to the beginning. So in the second stitch, here's one and then two. We're going to do a single crochet into that stitch. So you're going to go into that stitch. You're going to bring up a loop. Two loops on your hook. Yarn over and go through both loops for a single crochet. And then you're going to do a single crochet in every stitch back to the beginning. And then you're going to chain one. And then you're going to turn your work and then we're going to do a slip stitch and here you can see the little slope up you're not going to go into that stitch at the base of your first stitch you're going to go into that second stitch over so we're going to do a slip stitch you go into that next stitch you're going to yarn over and bring the yarn through both loops on the hook for a slip stitch and then we're going to do a single crochet into the next three stitches so in the next stitch you're going to do a single crochet it's one next stitch a single crochet and then in the third stitch you're going to do a single crochet and then we're going to do a slip stitch into the next stitch. So in the next stitch over, you're just going to yarn over and bring the yarn through both loops on your hook for a slip stitch. And then you're going to chain one and then turn your work. And now you're going to do a single crochet into the next stitch. One and then in the next stitch you're going to do a single crochet and a single crochet in the third stitch and then you're going to do a slip stitch into the next stitch and then you're going to chain one and then turn your work 
and you're going to do a slip stitch into the next stitch and then you're going to do a single crochet into the next stitch over and then you're going to do a slip stitch into the next stitch and then you're going to finish off going to yarn over and just pull enough yarn through to sew onto your ear. Okay, so you're going to go ahead and get your ear and you're going to get, take your inner ear and put the tapestry needle onto the short yarn end and go ahead and place your inner ear and I left a row of stitches on the bottom and then you're just going to take the short yarn end and then just sew it into the ear. Make sure you don't go out the back. You just want to go into that front portion of the ear. And then you're going to take your long yarn end that you left for sewing. Put that onto your tapestry needle. And then you're just going to sew the inner ear onto the outer ear and just make sure that as you sew it on that you don't sew it on through the back just on the front end and then when you're done just tie a knot and then come back okay so I have one ear sewn on I'm going to show you how to sew on the other one but I just want to show you how I positioned mine so you could see the magic circle from the top of the head right here and I just went over on the side of it for the left ear and then I just pinched into a C and then just kind of line up the edge of the ear with the eye and try to get it to stick up the way that you like it and now we're just going to place the other ear with our tapestry needle on the other side of that magic circle on the head and then we're going to pinch it into a C and make sure that it lines up with the other side and is even with the other ear. So go ahead and get your tapestry needle and then I'll show you how to sew on the other, uh, the other okay, ear. The first thing we're going to do is after you get your tapestry needle on, you find out where you left off with your thread. And the first part that I'm going to sew on is the inner portion of the ear and line them up together. So you're going to go into the ear, down into the head, go ahead and line it up, and then you're going to come up on the side of the magic circle. And you're going to come, go ahead and bring your needle up and then position the ear because you're going to go now up into the ear from there and then just make sure that you're lined up that one ear is not in front of the other And then you're going to go back into the ear itself. And then you're going to go down into the head and come out and position the ear into a C. Make sure you have it lined up. And then once you have it lined up, you're going to come up through the ear. And then you're going to go into the ear and down into the head.
and then come out through the back. And then go ahead and sew on your ear and then come back.